Welcome to Musings Television, where your host, Fabian, invites you to bloom with a new perspective that will encourage, uplift, and inspire. Here he is with today's Musings. your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it might surprise you what the Lord has done. It's Thanksgiving Day in America. Me just member. And as I journey to work, I thought I would just reflect on a heart of gratitude. It's one of the entries in my recently self-published book, Musings of the Mind, Prose to Encourage, Inspire, and Uplift, available on Amazon.com. So you can go and get your copy and be blessed, be encouraged, be inspired, be uplifted by the musings carried therein from my mind to yours. So, go now. Are you up there? We are coming here some. Yeah. So, a heart of gratitude. It's Thanksgiving. What do you have to give thanks for this morning? Is it the gift of life that you have? for once more being above the earth as opposed to your corpse being in a morgue and likely be prepared to be placed six feet under or under the furnace to be transformed into ashes. So if you are hearing my voice this morning, it means that you have a lot to give God thanks for And if it's just for the gift of life, it means that you have an opportunity to turn things around, to work towards a goal that you have in mind to accomplish, or just to, to be, to impact somebody else, give somebody else a reason for living even and so as America celebrates Thanksgiving on this particular day every day really ought to be a day for giving thanks because there's so much happening around us and even in our own lives that at times causes us to lose sight of the blessings that we have the blessings that we possess because so oftentimes we are so overshadowed by our troubles that we lose sight of those blessings. And so on this Thanksgiving day, I'm going to be sharing the entry I have in this blog from my book as referenced. Um, and it's titled A Heart of Gratitude, right? A Heart of Gratitude. I'm sure as the Americans celebrate, many of them are this morning having a heart of gratitude and will continue to have a heart of gratitude for the remainder of the day as they celebrate Thanksgiving Day. And it says, imagine a life without sight to behold the beauty of creation around you and to see the ingenuity of man made in the image of God so let us stop there and start there there are so many among us who have lost their sight there are so many among us who are sighted but lack vision so if this morning you are in capacity of the ability to see then you have reason to give God thanks for because in that ability the first thing is that you don't have to be led, right? You
you can get up and you can go about your business on a day-to-day -day basis um, because you have that gift of sight you don't have to depend on anybody to move you around you don't have to depend on a cane um, to to try and um, see your way through so if you have sight this morning and you're able to be and observe the beauty of the world around you the ingenuity of man then you have a lot to be grateful for and it goes on imagine a life without the gift of hearing again there are so many among us who are not able to hear or not able to hear without the the assistance of a, a hearing aid so if you have the ability to hear this morning then you have something to give thanks for to be blessed by the spoken word the sublime melody rhythm and message of music to lift the spirit and to free the soul and that's what hearing enables us to do so on this thanksgiving morning if you can hear do you hear anita baker somebody's car is playing anita baker in the morning so if you have the ability to hear you have a lot to give thanks for this morning imagine a life without the gift of speech unable to utter words of encouragement to build up to admonish can you imagine want to, to say something to somebody and you just can't it's it, it's 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 the act of being able to communicate communicate effectively and bless said that the fact that we have um sign language for those who who, who don't have that capacity um to, to to use their tongue to pronounce words and to you know encourage somebody to to say freely what is on your mind to speak your mind to exercise that right of free speech that we have and which in the american society is held so dear and everywhere else in in the democratic world so you have something to be grateful for to be thankful for it goes on imagine a life without hands to touch and to embrace have you ever been in a situation where you just sometimes all you want is a real just a nice hug a nice hug that that has the, 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 the ability and the capacity to just free you in that moment of some of the stresses and the thoughts that sometimes occupy our minds imagine if you didn't have hands hands that would, would, would that would enable you to enfold somebody in a warm embrace if you have hands this morning you have something to give god thanks for you have something to be thankful for on this thanksgiving day the hand that you outstretch to help somebody up who has fallen down imagine if you didn't have that hand to offer that that level of support to somebody you have something to give thanks for this morning so imagine a heart of gratitude it goes on imagine our life without feet to walk freely and these are the things sometimes that we take for granted you don't have to rely on a wheelchair to be pushed around in right you can move again freely about using the two feet that you were born with or blessed with if you still have them you have a lot to give god thanks for this morning and it goes on as it ends imagine a life outside of your right mind and there's another entry in my book which is called roadside roadside meditation or something that they make that really explores this 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 concept of being outside not a concept but the reality of many in terms of being outside of their right minds we walk around daily and we see people on the road who are outside of their right minds who are rummaging through garbage to find something to eat who practically live on the street 
can you imagine it is unsettling for me to see sometimes oftentimes and one of the things that I wish that I would was able to do or would be in a position to do is to offer for example a home or a shelter that would be able to assist persons like that to take them off the road have, have them have a, a warm cold shower whatever it is meal somewhere to sleep just a reprieve from that from that from that situation so imagine that this morning if you are this morning coming out of a warm bed a house a shelter um, you, you could have gone into your kitchen and prepared something for breakfast or you can go into a restaurant and buy something for breakfast and you don't have to be rummaging to a garbage bin to find something to eat then you have something to be grateful for you have something to be thankful for on this morning of the 25th of November 2021 when America celebrates its Thanksgiving Day but every day should be a day of Thanksgiving for us we must recognize and be grateful for these very sometimes overlooked blessings that we ought to give thanks for and it ends by saying the heart of gratitude this reflection from my book imagine a life that could be but is not imagine a heart of gratitude Imagine a heart of gratitude on this Thanksgiving morning For all the J J Americans out there the Americans And one of the Americans <laughs> um, Who look to the land of the free and the, and the home of the brave for a better opportunity The land of opportunity a better life imagine a heart of gratitude this morning with me in musings of the mind prose to encourage inspire and uplift as you give thanks for everything that you have and those things that you often sometimes overlook these are the blessings that we must reside in and be grateful for as we give thanks on this Thanksgiving Day and every day so check it out it's musings of the mind pros to encourage inspire and uplift it is available on amazon.com and while you're at it please also check out affirmation couture at affirmationcouture.com which is the brand inspired by the book itself that aims to 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 promote self-confidence um, yeah through words of upliftment printed to clothing so I'm having some strong competition from somebody who's enjoying their music very loudly behind me what is this man trying to come over on me now anyway happy Thanksgiving day and reside in all the blessings that you have in your life and make every day a day of thanksgiving see you next time when we muse as we are inspired to do so from musings of the mind happy thanksgiving day there you have it this week's musings we hope you found it encouraging inspiring and uplifting let Fabian know your thoughts by leaving a comment on this video. Do spread the word and invite others to subscribe to Musings Television. Until next week, may your hearts remain ever joyful.